What's good? So y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite truck. I'm back, man. Reporting live from the gridiron here in Mission, Texas, man. Hope all is well, because God has got all the time. And especially on this Wild Out Wednesday, Wednesday, man. Hope you guys had a fantastic Wednesday. I know I did. Let me first off say let me first start off by saying God is good all the time. Because the brother made it down here safe and sound in Mission, aka Mexico, Texas. You know what I'm talking about? Oh man. What's good with y'all though, man? Like I said, today was a good day, man. Um got up about alarm went off about 7 30 then 7 45 then 8 ish then i finally got up about 8 15 um and then kind of got my day going man got my daily devotion going on man and um um just kind of get my day going from there man um went inside got a shower um like i said it was raining um it been it hit rain 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 woke me up and it was nice and chilly in the truck man nice and chilly man um real nice and chilly man like i said when i said i got me a shower man i got refreshed got motivated got rejuvenated and um got back to my pre-trip ate a little breakfast and um i called to see when my trade was going to be ready no one answered a text nobody answered to the location in Mesquite, so I was like, kind of took matters in my own hands, and um, started my clock about 10:45, um, and um, started my clock at 10:45, and then headed out about 11:15, 11:20, um, headed on to the Mesquite location, got over there, and um, dropped uh, the loaded from yesterday from Odessa, and then. Um, I was able to pick up my loaded. Usually they have a, you know, I usually take the same trailer um, out to Odessa or or out down down uh, to Mission McAllen area. And uh, but they had I had a lightweight trailer, which was Schneider's. Is, Schneider's lightweight trailers are your newer trailers. Um, it's like your ARLW trailers for your lightweight, and then. Um, Again, then you got your regular TA trailers. Um, I took a lightweight out to Odessa, which I never usually do. Um, then I took a, a different one down here, a TA one down here to uh, Mission McAllen area, which um, I'm, I've never taken this trailer. So it was it was cool, something different, you know what I'm saying? Um, not for sure, you know, when you get used to certain trailers, you know how they're gonna ride. and it was a you know different trailer so i wasn't sure how i was gonna ride but it got me down here uh, safe and sound uh, no issues and then on top of that um i just got a few pieces on here i ain't got much on here which should uh get me in and get me out tomorrow but it's supposed to rain overnight down here and some in the morning so it may slow it down may not but you know we'll see you know what i'm saying we'll see man definitely see um but yeah it was a good good drive down here man um stopped one time man i usually stop a couple times to pee and whatnot but you know, I, I drank the same amount of liquids as i usually do and um only stopped one time man that was my regular stop in peggy texas south of san antonio um on uh 37 137 um, before it turns into 281. Um, yeah, I stopped at the user rest area there. Um, he didn't and, and kept trucking, man. I didn't stop no more until I got um, until I had to take my 30 minute break in Alice, which is my usual 30 minute break stop um, in Alice. I'll just take my 30 minutes there, um, eat dinner and whatnot, and then. Um, keep on pushing from there man i got here probably was like 10 10 o'clock 10 05 something like that and uh went into the walmart uh got me got my usual few groceries man and um 
here I am, man, in the bed, man. Like I say, it was overall a good day, man. Um, definitely was, man. I kind of thought some more about the intermodal stuff, and I was listening to some some podcast on uh, Spotify, man, and it just kind of, you know, hearing the different ways of kind of getting into the intermodal game, man. I, I think that's the that's, that's important to something to that's intrigued me to get into man you know what i'm saying i mean like i said there's many different ways of getting a truck and how to get started and starting your own company and all that though but um but the intermodal thing is, is something that uh intrigues me right now for sure you know what i'm saying uh, something i could do uh but you know let's continue doing what i'm doing man you know like i said all these guys that you know all you watch on youtube and hear their stories you know started out as a company driver you know did did this that and the other type of jobs and to saved up their money and bought them a truck and kind of scouts scouts the limit from there you know what i'm saying so um there's many many different ways to skin a cat um but you gotta find what's best for you man you know what I'm saying? For us, that's just getting started into the trucking game, man. Um, yeah, there's some that go ahead and get to that lease lease purchase and all that. And I didn't want to get into all that, man. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy I enjoy my home time. You know what I'm saying? And then I also enjoy my away time. I enjoy my, my home time because it's about Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, you know, part of Monday. You know what I'm saying? But then... I'm gone. Now, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday night, maybe a Friday morning, you know, depending on how I feel, you know what I'm saying? And they kind of just go from there, man. So, um, you know, whatever floats your boat, different strokes for different folks, man. But, you know, you just got to be in there for the long haul, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no short hauls, baby. It's all for the long haul. Got to get the miles in, though. Get the miles in, though. So, yeah, man, um, like I said, that was pretty much a day in a nutshell, man. Um, you know, I had to drop them jewels on your, them gems on your real quick like, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, finna get ready to close these eyes, man, and get ready to get it hard, hit it hard tomorrow, man. So, um, again, hopefully you guys had a fantastic Wednesday, man. And um, we're going to get to it, you know what I'm talking about, again tomorrow. Um, so, continue to ask your questions, continue to do your research. It's any have that belief in self the mindset that you can do it is that can taste the behavior for success. Start small, stay consistent, and trust your gut instincts. And just remember, I'm just an imaginary little brother giving you advice. Outlast the average and take everything to the bloodstream until the next episode. Uh -huh.